So I just went to see The Glass Castle. This is a film based on the memoir by, by Jeanette Walls. And this movie really ticked me off. <laughs> really, really made me angry. And it made my friend angry too, who was sitting there with me. Um, we both had to have like a super vent session after the movie. And so I'll try to explain why this made me so upset. Um, you know, it's really easy to say that a movie like the Emoji Movie is bad because it's just a stupid concept for a movie and it's incompetently made and it's a bad movie. Um, maybe it's harder to explain why a movie like Glass Castle is my worst movie of the year um, because it has good actors, it's well shot, it's well staged, whatever. Um, but I found this movie to be morally repugnant and disgusting and it made me sick to my stomach and I get it, it's based on a true story, but my friends have told me that have read the book that they've added quite a bit that's not in the book and taken some things out that were really important and so I, I feel like I can judge this as not really being based on a true story and it doesn't really matter if it's based on a true story because it's what the movie's asking you to do about this true story and feel about this true story that makes it so awful. So it's about uh, Brie Larson's character. She plays uh, this, she plays Jeanette, the, the author of the memoir. And uh, most of the movie is in flashbacks to her thinking about her father. Um, she, as an adult, is a gossip columnist writer and this is something that is very looked down upon throughout the course of the movie that she's just like the sellout and she's she's engaged to this guy who uh, even though he seems to treat her perfectly fine and they seem to have a semi-decent relationship uh, because he's not like a dreamer uh, then he's like a sellout and and basically like they they kind of make them out to be sort of these uppity uh, Republicans kind of a thing and then like her parents are these sort of liberal dreamers whatever and <clears throat> all that could make a good story all that could be interesting but and we had Captain Fantastic last year which I, I, I really liked Viggo Mortensen's performance in there, but there were some things about that movie that, that bothered me, <laughs> um, that you're supposed to celebrate the way that they're treating these children, but it didn't, this was way worse, because at least in that movie you had the in-laws who were sort of saying, um, nope, this is not right, this is not right, and it didn't go as bad as this movie does. So, just to give you some idea, so her father, played by Woody Harrelson, is a horrible human being. I'm sorry, they try to get you to cheer for this person and like see the bright side or whatever, but no, I don't. So there's a scene in this movie, just to show you how bad it gets, there's a scene in this movie where uh, his son has been sexually abused. And what is his words about this? He's angry at his son and he says to him, uh, why don't you grow up and be a man? <laughs> are you kidding me right now? Like, are you kidding me? <sighs> There's also a scene where he grabs his wife uh, by the neck, beating her up, and then throws her outside a two-story window and is holding on to her just by the just by the neck and claiming, oh, well, she jumped. Whatever. Baloney. And then they get... <laughs> They, she gets, they get downstairs and the girl says to her mother, like, you need to leave him. You need to leave him. And she says, but he's the only one who believes in my painting. Are you kidding me? She's just as bad as the, as the, as the dad. And the whole time we're just supposed to like look on the bright side, you know, in the end that like, oh, his dreaming, like, uh, overcome the fact that he, his kids are starving to death while he's drinking. He's an alcoholic, a violent alcoholic. His kids live in constant fear. Uh, they, they want to leave as soon as they can. Uh, he steals from his children. He manipulates his children. They have, uh, she, the rewatching character has burns all the way up and down her body that were not healed and treated the way that they should. And his, his big thing is, oh, this big speech to the doctor and how the doctor's the one at fault. 
and they are completely, completely judging her and that she's the wrong one and she's let her, her fire go out and this is not the way she's supposed to live even though she's actually like doing something with her life and <laughs> it just <sighs> made me so angry. I hated it so much. Uh, the, the youngest daughter is bitter with her older siblings for leaving that her with this madman, and I don't blame her. And, and yet, we're supposed to, literally at the end of the movie, there's a toast. Because look at the great things that he did for us, and look how great he was. No, no, I'm sorry. I can, I can, ex I think a flawed character can be really, really interesting, but I don't think a character that tells his young son to grow up and be a man after he's been sexually molested is somebody that I'm going to be able to toast to at the end of the movie. I'm sorry. And his kids aren't getting the education they need, but he gives these big speeches about how, how we're, this is real education, you know, driving off into the dirt. That's real education. And his, you know, his kids are bruised, his kids are living in garbage, and this man should be in prison for the rest of his life. Not celebrated in any way, shape, or form. And I think the mother should be in prison too. And it, it made me so angry. I was literally shaking when I got out <laughs> of the theater. I didn't think a movie could tick me off as much as Silence did, but this, it was even worse because this is children who are being treated like this. There's a long scene where where she has to, as a little girl, has to sew up his major gash he he, he uh, got when she, he was supposed to be uh, getting food for his kids who hadn't eaten in three days, uh, but he went out drinking instead. And this is this heartwarming scene, uh, and, and he has this dream of building the glass castle. And just because he's a dreamer, that's supposed to make everything okay, and it doesn't make everything okay. It doesn't. <laughs> it really made me mad. This movie sucks. I hate it. And I've, I've told that the movie is, that the book is, is much better, but no, no kid deserves to be treated like that, and no man that does that kind of thing to his kids deserves to be celebrated in any kind of movie. This is complete BS, and I hated it, and don't go see it, don't give it your money, and uh, yeah, so, this is an F, I hated it, so there you go, that's my review of The Glass Castle. People that have been in toxic situations like that, and this kind of message of like, see the good side in, in the abuser, that's really hurtful and awful. It's really bad. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. That's my thoughts on the glass castle. So anyway, let me know what you think about it. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, so this is my worst of the year and I, I, I don't think anything will beat it because this really was just morally repugnant and disgusting. So anyway, <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>